gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on I'm gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on I got my natural case I've got the hogs on the BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some rabbit and olives or coniglio stamparato at the pit. And it's real easy to do. All right, we have here a whole rabbit. We've got three of them. They weigh about one pound each. And the first thing we want to do is um, cut them up into pieces. All right, break them down into, um, into pieces. Separate the legs, the body parts. Real easy to do. Just grab your meat cleaver and give them a whack. Now, if you've never had coniglio stamparato before, whoa, Italian-style rabbit with olives, you definitely got to check this out. This is some real good eating. This is an old-school recipe. Hunters often use this. And if you can't get yourself some rabbit, we'll substitute some chicken thighs. Works good with chicken thighs, too. Now, while we're waiting, get that rabbit cut up. We've got some veggies to cut up as well. Mm, there's plenty of veggies in this one. The Vegematics are gonna love it. All right, the rabbits have been cut up. Now, let's put this recipe together. First thing you want to do is uh, oil up a good baking pan and uh, with three pounds of rabbit you need a good sized pan like this and of course we're going to uh, be throwing this on the grill it makes this recipe real special. I'll take the rabbit and um, evenly space them in the pan just like this. It's real easy to do right? Oh man. This is some good eating. You definitely got to check this out. All right. Now, let's add some veggies. Here we've got about four or five large uh, carrots chopped up to about one half inch pieces. Just throw them in there. And here we have some celery, about oh, a quarter to a third bunch chopped up, including some of the leaf. We also have some onion, about one cup of chopped onion. Now the ingredients on this are more or less, all right? You've got a lot of flexibility here. You don't have to be obsessive or compulsive about it. Here we're throwing on some oregano, some parsley, some basil. Just uh, rip up some pieces, throw it in there, not much. Mm. Looks real pretty with all them veggies now, doesn't it? And here we've got some capers, and you're going to use about one half cup. And here's that oregano, some fresh oregano. Always use fresh when you can, right? Now here's the magic of this recipe. These are Sicilian uh, pitted olives. And in, uh, in a brine, we're going to use about um, maybe a cup. And we also have some green olives, and these have been marinated as well with some uh, chopped garlic. Just go out and get your favorite olives. Throw them in there just like that. Oh, man. Oh. If you love olives, man, you're going to love this recipe. Now here we've got some red wine. I want to sprinkle some on there, maybe a quarter cup, more or less. And here we've got some vinegar. Oh yeah, and it's white vinegar, of course. <clears throat> oh yeah. 
And here we've got some grated cheese. It's Pecorino Romano cheese, right? A real important element of this. You can find it. Go find it out there. Go to your favorite deli. Pecorino Romano, right? And of course, uh, no meals complete without some of our SPG. Just throw a little bit on there. Yeah. And this here is optional. We're going to introduce a little bit of heat to this. This is not typical in, uh, in this recipe, but add a little background heat into it. It tastes real good. Now, oh yeah, one last thing. A little bit of beer. Mostly for the pit masters, of course. Take a look at that. Looks good enough to eat already, right? <laughs> all right, now we've got the grill all set up. We've got it for indirect heating. The charcoal's on one side. We're going to sprinkle a little olive oil on here first before putting it on. And we're going to cook this at um, fairly low temperature, about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, with the aluminum foil on for about an hour or so. All right, a little over an hour has gone by. And take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm, coming along good, but we're nowhere near being done. Take a look at that rabbit, yeah. Now, to get some even cooking, we're just going to spin this pan around. Neighbors can smell this, you can bet. Oh man, they'll be climbing the fence, right? All right, now we'll leave the foil off and we're gonna cook it for about two hours. And the, uh, and the chicken is real happy about that, right? We're not doing chicken, we're doing rabbit. Another hour and a half has gone by. We're almost completed. Here we're just gonna mix it just a little bit. We'll bring some of the meat to the surface now. This will continue to braise. We'll brown it up even more. Oh man. Are you getting hungry or what? And if you're not, you got a problem. Put the cover on, maybe an hour to go more or less. And through the miracle of time, this rabbit and olive recipe is done. Time to plate it up. Oh, baby. We're eating good tonight, Martha. Rabbit will be cooked tender. Love that great olive taste. Of course, I could fast forward this up a little bit, huh? Right? I mean, uh, yep. but you know what? Yeah. Just be patient. We'll eventually get it on this plate. And it smells good. Oh, I say it's time to eat. And of course, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this here Pitmaster Privilege. Mm.
next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, check out barbecuepitboys.com. <laughs>